101.8 WCRFN. If you want to see our breakfast, especially here our lives until 10, 1982 today. Uh, with Foreigner, a track from their Foreigner 4 album, which was huge in 82. Uh, Wait for a girl like you. And before that's the theme to Chariots of Fire from Van Gelis. Well, ACH is an organisation that provides housing and support for refugees in Wolverhampton. And Laura and Rose from ACH uh, came into WCRFM to have a chat and tell us about uh, their work in the city. Our main goal is to help integrate refugees. So we kind of integrate them through support, housing, um, training and also into employment. Tell us a little bit about the process because <coughs> I don't think many people know this. So, so refugees come to the country. What yeah. Is, what's so, the kind of process for them? So refugees, once they get their um, refugee status, um, after being kind of seeking asylum and claiming asylum, um, they then get referred to us either through the council or other kind of refugee uh, agents and then we we can provide them with supported housing we have a multiple uh, different houses which is normally they kind of share share a house so they've got their own room but then share the living kind of facilities and then they're matched up with a support team um, and they get their own workers and um, that's that part and then we also have a training arm Himalo um, so we do a lot of um, training such as IT courses, uh, English courses and all of that kind of stuff to kind of get people prepared um, for work and hopefully, yeah, and then that leads into employment. We also run job clubs, um, we've got a careers team, so we're doing everything we can to kind of help give these people the best chance they can to kind of succeed and integrate properly into uh, into the UK. What do you find are the biggest obstacles for them? Um, one of them is obviously kind of language is a big obstacle in kind of seeking employment um, which is what what most people need to kind of get get the foot off the ground get a new house um, all of that stuff so we we do ESOL English My Way we do a lot of classes kind of focusing on that especially when we get newly arrived refugees um, so yeah kind of the language and also people's perceptions of refugees so we've got a big campaign um our rethinking refugee campaign and that is to kind of overcome those negative mm. perceptions of refugees um so at the minute we're focusing on employers because some of the hr and hiring practices um just exclude a whole set of set of communities um so we're doing a big push on trying to get employers to change change the way so we're working with first bus starbucks um and the minute and laura you work yes. in the wolverhampton branch do, of yes. aca so, so tell us a bit about the work in wolverhampton okay well ACH in wolverhampton it was set up in november 2015 so it's fairly new um we have 12 houses that we manage on behalf of private landlords and we have a total of 57 occupants we are looking at obviously increasing these houses because the demand is getting um higher which other organizations do you work with in the city um i work with the city council wolverhampton city council we work closely with the refugee and migrant center um wolverhampton city of sanctuary and also i work with um, the job center plus the dwp at Molling new house in chapel court rose was just talking about the obstacles and, mm. and the perceptions that people have yeah. is that something that you find here yes, as well definitely yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when we have anybody come to us and we've got a room, we the first thing we do, obviously, we give them the room. We then I do the housing benefit with them and then they do go and see a support worker. Obviously, we are supported accommodation, so we have to ensure that they need the support in order to help them integrate into Wolverhampton. And the barrier, the, the, the language barrier is the big, yeah. the big one. Yeah, definitely. Everybody gets referred to college for ESO classes, but we also do English at ACH in Wolverhampton as well, okay. which is a more informal meeting. Yeah. The more we get to know our clients, the more uh, they do come. But mainly to get accredited ESO, they do have to go to college. Tell us a little bit about uh, Refugee Week. Uh, Refugee Week, yeah. It's organised for the 17th of June up until the 23rd of June. ACH will be doing some events. A lot of them tend to be food-based events because a lot of our clients, it's always nice to get together and do some um, events based upon um, different types of food from all over the different countries of the people that we support. 
Um, and also the uh, Wolverhampton City Council will be doing events during that week as well. So those will be advertised by the City Council. Is there any kind of volunteer aspect to, to the work that you do? Wolverhampton have had um, several volunteers yeah. come into the office just to get some work experience, their CV. Um, so, so kind of helping the support yeah, uh, team yeah. and training um and then also we've run in the past volunteering courses so for our tenants um to link them up with other um other organizations who are kind of in the direction of what careers they want to do so yeah to help build up the cv so kind of from both sides we take on volunteers and also help our help our tenants get into volunteering there is always that uh, facility to do some volunteering with ACH. And if anyone wants to get in touch with you about that, uh, Laura, how do they do that? Yeah, well, they can email um, ACH at Wolverhampton on infowolf at ach.org.uk. There's information about our kind of volunteer um, activities and all of that on our website as well, which is ach.org.uk. The telephone number for ACH at Wolverhampton is 01902 429 163 and our opening hours are from 9 o'clock till 5 o'clock Monday to Friday. Laura, Rose, thanks for coming in and talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Read all about it! Read all about it! Wolverhampton City Life is the magazine for Wolverhampton people. It's full of local news.